Hey, I'm Simon from FinSuite and in this video I will show you how the client first spacing system can increase your building speed in Webflow, so stay tuned. The main benefit of our spacing system is that you don't have to start from scratch. When cloning one of our resources from finsuite.com slash client dash first, the spacing system will already be set up in the project. You won't have to create these classes yourselves anymore and these classes already have responsive margin values and responsive padding values so that your website is looking good on all devices. The next benefit of our spacing system is the flexibility that it brings to the table. Developers love flexibility and the spacing system of client first allows us to make changes for margin or padding sizes in our whole build within seconds. And let me demonstrate how this would look like. So let's say a client wants to have the space between sections slightly decreased. So as you can see, we currently have the padding vertical padding huge here. Um, these two classes and that's six RAM on top and bottom vertical. And we want to change this to 5.5 RAM. And the same then goes for the breakpoint. So I'm pressing the three key um, to immediately switch to the landscape breakpoint. And there, the value that client first is automatically giving here is 3.5 RAM on the landscape breakpoint. So we're just going to change the values here slightly. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove the padding vertical, the directional class and the size class. I just use the shortcut um, control enter on my command enter to actually let me show this with. So basically we could click here, but I'm uh, mostly using the shortcut. So I'll uh, use control enter to open the selector here on Mac. It would be command and enter. And then I'm hitting the backspace key twice to delete these classes here. I'm not deleting the classes, I'm just removing them from here just to get this clear. And now I'll just add the padding huge. So I'm just typing in pad huge here in the selector and then I'll just um, select it here. And as you can see, it's six rem. We had this before and we want to slightly decrease it. So I'll just lower it to 5.5 rem. And as we said, we also want to decrease the value on the landscape breakpoints. So I'm also going to decrease it here to three rem. Um, I'm holding down the shift key to customize the amount of padding here for every single side at once for every single direction. And now I'll just go back and add the padding vertical class. And with the down arrow key, I can actually switch between these highlighted options here. And then I'll press enter and it's selected. I, I applied the class but the padding huge is still missing. So I'm just hitting a uh, control enter, command enter on Mac. And then I'm pressing the down arrow key to um, switch here to the padding huge. And then with the enter key, I got it selected. And as you can see, the value is coming from padding huge. It's now 5.5 rem. And really, if we will switch to the uh, landscape breakpoint, it's only three rem and not 3.5 rem anymore because we also made that change. And the same will go for this here um, or this section here. We also have 5.5 rem and 3 rem right now. And I made these changes right in the project, but you can actually also switch to the included style guide page. It comes with every single resource, which you can find at finsuite.com slash client dash first. It's just up to you. Do the changes where you feel most comfortable doing them. But now let's move on to the next point. So we just discussed how to make changes globally, but actually, um, if we don't, if we only want to make a change on one single instance, so for example, we want to decrease or increase the top margin here to have more space between the heading and the paragraph here in the header, we could just, um, again, access the selector by pressing control and enter, which is command and enter on Mac. And then I'm hitting the backspace key once and now you see that there are some already suggested values so i will just for example select margin small and now we decrease the value because before it was um margin medium 
and now we actually have margin small and as you've seen it was so fast for me to change i didn't even have to type in anything because it's just um with the way that our spacing system is set up it's just a matter of seconds for you to change a value and that's actually a thing that can save you a lot a lot of time working in webflow as you have seen, our spacing system can be such a time saver. So make sure to clone the resources at finsuite.com slash client dash first, where you can also find the official documentation of the system. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to the Finsuite YouTube channel, for more Webflow videos and live streams. See you soon and have a nice day.